Hi everyone, Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com here doing Jaspie's 14 box Super Bowl warm up football mixer. Uh, where? 32 spots, everyone gets a random team in the NFL, no vet common shit. Uh, no randomizers at the end of the break, some really nice stuff in here. Really heavy on 2020 product, a little bit of 2019 in there. Um, and right there, 2019, 2019, and then 1 2017. So. Mostly it's this current rookie class with last year's in two spots and then chasing Mahomes one chance as well. So here is our customer list from Nick Stober with the first spot purchase down to Andrew Hearman with last spot mojo and the six spots that we gave away on our Don Russ hanger break. And the teams from the Cardinals down to the Washington football team. Dice roll, randomizer. Four and a one, five times. Good luck. Fifth and final time. From Jason Siebert down to Vladimir Nickman. Five times on the randomizer, five times on the dice, now five times on the teams. One. Fifth and final time from the Saints down to the Titans. So, Jason Siebert with the Saints, Christopher Chin with the Browns, Travis Brunangel with the Cardinals, Samuel Strayer with the Giants, Nathan Engelbrecht with the Falcons. Kevin Hole with the Patriots. Alfonso Mendoza with the Jaguars. Kevin Hole with the Vikings. Patrick Gallegos with the Buccaneers. Andy Din with the Bills and with the Dolphins. Narek Aramasian with the Washington football team. Patrick Gallegos with the Bengals. Alec Harrison with the Chiefs. Kyle Koch with the or sorry, Kyle Cook with the Raiders. Nick Stober with the Lions. Kevin Hole with the Rams. Patrick Gallegos with the Packers and the Broncos. Sean Maddock with the Ravens. Nelson Lynn with the Texans. Sean Maddock with the 49ers. Nelson Lynn with the Panthers. Victor Nguyen with the Seahawks. Nathan Engelbert with the Cowboys. Patrick Gallegos with the Colts. Brandon Sturm with the Bears. Patrick Gallegos with the Chargers. Andrew Hearman with the Steelers. Jason Siebert with the Eagles. Tom Judge with the Jets. And Vladimir Nickman with the Titans. So there you go, guys. That is the randomizer. Uh, trade window is open. Let's sort this by team. And open up that trade window for you guys. There you go. Uh, I'm going to pause the video and give you guys a minute or two to trade. And we'll be back. Okay, guys. We're back. Uh, no trades. Everybody's sticking where they're at. Maybe a little bit of try to trade. Couldn't trade Mojo for Chris, sounds like. We'll see. Daniel Jones, Sam. Saquon Autos, maybe. So here's our final list. Last spot mojo, Andrew Hearman with the Steelers. So you can see all the boxes on the Nick Cam here. Uh, we'll leave the mega box. It's usually uh, go chronologically, but since we're chasing Mahomes, since he's in the Super Bowl, uh, we'll save that till right before the helmet. So we'll start in 2019. Prism Blaster. I think this has the green pulsar, maybe, or is that the the? Laser parallels. Green pulsars in the mega box.
keeps thinking if they redrafted last year already. I feel like Kyler still goes one, Bosa still goes two, but after that, I gotta think like three between like third pick and fifth pick. You gotta have like both AJ Brown and DK Metcalf, right? And by last year now, I mean two years ago, I guess, draft. Terrell Suggs, laser. For the Cardinals, Travis Bernongo. Eric Reed, silver. For the Panthers, Nelson Lynn, Noah Fant. For the Broncos, Patrick Gallegos. Marquise Brown, Hollywood, for the Baltimore Ravens, Sean Maddock, and Josh Jacobs. It's pretty good. For the Raiders, Kyle Cook. Carson Wentz, Laser, for the Eagles, Jason Siebert. Benny Snell Jr., rookie Laser, for the Steelers, Last Spot Mojo, Andrew Hearman. So now we're popping forward straight into 2020. Or no, we got one more 2019 contenders. Those two are superstars. And it's funny because they were both on the same team in college. Can you imagine if they had, like, a good quarterback in college, how good that team would have been? Okay, 2019 Contenders football. funny thing is we all knew he how big he was and how strong he was but everybody doubted his ability to run routes not anymore twenty nineteen Josh Allen was twenty eighteen Nick do you mean Josh Allen the linebacker I mean I like Josh Allen the linebacker but which which one had a neck injury? Yeah, they all thought that he was just a straight straight ahead runner. They didn't think he could he could run routes. They kept saying his uh his three cone drill, his time was garbage. And I was like, what? You think the Jets would have taken Josh Allen the line the linebacker? I mean, I like the guy a lot, but. After seeing what Metcalf and and uh, um, AJ Brown have done, damn. I, honestly, I don't know which one I would I would if I knew which one to pick. I don't know which one I would pick first. Because DK Metcalf can do it seems like anything, but God, AJ Brown. That dude, that dude could break any of Michael Thomas's catch records. You're not giving enough credit to Sam Darnold, Nick. I think Sam Darnold actually will be fine wherever he gets traded to. If he gets traded. I mean, 
You know how it goes, Andy. New coach wants his new quarterback every time. Which one are we talking about now? AJ or are we talking about DK? Scott? On drops. You can coach technique, though. Can't coach size and speed. So you're saying you would go DK from the sounds of that, right? Um, so these round numbers sometimes will be, we'll see that in the contenders hobby that we're going to do for 2020 can be different teams. If they are, uh, we'll do a randomizer at the end on those Tom Brady, MVP contenders. That's Patriots edition, Kevin Hall. over any Mahomes or Brady's because anything with their name on it right now is as good as gold, right? Josh Jacob, Rookie of the Year contenders, Raiders, Kyle Cook. So, like we were just talking about, A.J. Brown, D.K. Metcalf. Right on time. <laughs> Uh, so those are going to go that like all of these that are different teams, we're going to do a left, right randomizer. So on this one, if it was the left side that won, the Titans would get this card. All of those we'll do at the same time um, with the, I know contenders, other ones will have those too. Packers round number. Terry McLaurin, Washington, Narek for the Rookie of the Year contenders. Drew Locke, Rookie of the Year contenders for the Broncos, Patrick Gallegos. I'm hoping he has a bounce back year next year. Not because I want the Broncos to do well, but we've got some cards of his I'd like to have their value go back up to their pre-this-year value. And I honestly think he's pretty decent. Here's another one of those round numbers. Benny Snell, Tony Pollard, randomizer. Nick Bosa, Rookie of the Year contender. 49ers, Sean Maddock. Man, they definitely, they, I don't know what's going on with the 49ers. Tom Brady again for the Patriots, Kevin Hall. They uh, really needed him, didn't they? Um, They were, and then they went down, but I think they're, they're, they started going up again, Sam. Considerable amount this year. Bears, Bills, round number, randomizer at the end. Mahomes, Chiefs, Alec Harrison. Another team randomizer there. Brady again for the Patriots, Kevin Hall. Mahomes again for the Chiefs, Alec Harrison.
I think we can use however many Brady's we see compared to how many uh, Mahomes we see in this break as an indicator of who's going to win the Super Bowl. Maybe. Miles Sanders for the Eagles, Jason Siebert. Dwayne Haskins, Washington Narek. It'll be interesting to see what he can do with uh, Pittsburgh. I don't know if Ben comes back for a year, right? Like, I don't know if I can really see him coming back. That picture of him, or like that video of him, picture of him sitting on the bench after they lost in that playoff game. That did not look like a guy who was looking that was going to be coming back next year. But what do I know? He is? I mean, maybe that's good for Dwayne. Maybe he gets another he gets a year to learn under him. I don't know. I mean, I thought they might, Sam. You gotta think. Like, Ben Roethlisberger, very big quarterback. Not not super mobile, but he can deal with pressure and kind of get out of unscramble when necessary, right? When the pocket starts to close. Dwayne Haskins, same type of quarterback. Big guy, big arm. So... Cool. Prestige 2020. So we're going to do a lot of the heavier base type stuff first. Then we'll get into like the hobby boxes and whatever. So now we're into 2020. So all of this up until the very last mega box will be uh, current draft class. And I couldn't believe how quickly it kind of turned around for the Steelers this year. I mean, they were just tearing it apart and then just couldn't buy a win for the life of themselves towards the end of the year. It was like bad, bad. Yeah, you do have both, don't you, Tony? Nice. Well, you got lots of, uh, lots of chances at them. One box, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different boxes. All, all 2020. I think we should see them, see them quite a bit. These heroes are cool. Jared Allen, Minnesota Vikings. Kevin Hall. Jalen Hurts, Philadelphia Eagles. Jason Siebert. Jacob Eason for the Colts. 
Patrick Gallegos. Henry Ruggs for the Raiders. Kyle Cook. Jordan Love. Packers. Patrick Gallegos. Roger staying in Green Bay? Yeah. I mean, I don't think Green Bay is going to give him a chance. The only way I could see Green Bay not, him not staying in Green Bay, is let's say that, like, a team that has a absolute crap ton of trade offers available for him, like, throws them all at him at the same time. Do you know what I mean? I'll also say this. I also could foresee, let's say that, like, the Houston Texans get, like, a, a, like a, just an absolute haul of stuff for Deshaun Watson. Then I could see the Packers, like, reaching out to other teams and being like, do you want to one-up that? And kind of using that as a, like, benchmark for what they could get. Tom Brady, Buccaneers, Patrick Gallegos. I think this is one of the first products that had Brady in a, I think it was Elite or this, I forget. Chase Young, Washington, Narek. So, that's the only re re real ways I could see, you know, him getting traded. Is if, if Houston just absolutely just trashes somebody in, in trade and gets, um, just gets an absolute, you know, u-hauls worth of picks value prospects whatever it may be um skill players and then then green bay reaches out to other teams that need quarterbacks and goes hey by the way i'm not sure what you just saw that deshaun watson's got but you want to one-up that lamar jackson relic for the ravens sean maddox A.J. Dillon, Green Bay, Keyshawn Vaughn, Tampa Bay, Clyde edwards Lair for the Chiefs, Alec Harrison, Justin Jefferson for the Vikings, Kevin Hall, uh, that Keyshawn Vaughn for the Buccaneers, Patrick Gallegos uh, for Green Bay, A.J. Dillon, Patrick Gallegos as well. Especially if I can see him reaching out to uh, Brian Dawkins, heroes for the Eagles, uh, Jason Siebert, wherever Jerry Judy for the Broncos, Patrick Gallegos, wherever Deshaun Watson ends up, I could see them reaching out to the teams that are in need of a quarterback in that division. That'd be interesting. Uh, Mahomes for the Chiefs, Alec Harrison. Yeah, he was really good, just not on a good team. You know what I mean? Antonio Gibson for Washington, Narek. C.D. Lamb for the Dallas Cowboys, Nathan Engelbrecht. Joe Burrow, Cincinnati Bengals, Patrick Gallegos. Michael Pittman Jr. for the Colts, Patrick Gallegos. John Elway Heroes for the Broncos, Patrick Gallegos. Jalen Ragor for the Eagles, Jason Siebert.
Mahomes. Chiefs, Alec Harrelson. Chase Claypool for the Steelers, Andrew Herman. Tua for the Dolphins, Andy Den. excited for the Super Bowl to be here like I'm excited for it to be here and then I'm gonna be sad once it's gone like and over with I'll be like oh so that means no more football sadly you know do I think Rodgers gets the MVP yes Saturday's the day they're giving out awards right Sam is that is that all awards so like rookie of the year and stuff I was trying to figure out if it was Friday or Saturday because for some reason, I thought somewhere it was Friday. But yeah, I mean, if he doesn't get it, I would be absolutely shocked. Absolutely shocked. Okay. He, he deserves it, man. Like, there's not a question about that, right? NFL Honors is Saturday. Happens, Sam. It happens. That would suck. It'd be it would be dumb. It would be absolutely dumb. But if it happens, it happens. I don't think it's gonna affect him at all. I don't think it's gonna affect his his trajectory of his career or anything like that. I mean, like, I haven't, I haven't seen him once talk about being like rookie of the week or rookie of the month or anything like that. So, I, like, I'm sure that if he gets rookie of the year, he'll be absolutely stoked on it and stuff. But I don't think it's gonna be a big deal to him. And, like, I was trying to think. I was like, yeah, it would suck for, like... Because, I mean, I know a lot of people are pretty much banking on him winning and kind of having a nice, sharp spike in the value of his cards, which... I guess the, the actually having the award will cause that, but... I mean, I think for most part, people already think he is, right? I know, Nick, but... Man, there are some there are some Justin Jefferson truthers out there that just swear that it is a lock for him and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm like, he was great. No no, Justin Jefferson. In in any year that did not include Justin Herbert, Justin Jefferson would have won rookie of the year. Like he would win it. A hundred percent. There's not a question about it. Except he went up against the guy who played 15 games and set four rookie records for passing all-time rookie records. And he was 29 yards short of Andrew Luck's rookie record, rookie record for yardage that Andrew Luck played 16 games in. And he was 29, 29 yards short of that record, too. So. 
But there are some diehard Justin Jefferson truth truthers out there, man. That they're like, it is a lock. It is all Justin Jefferson's. I'm like, huh, okay. I guess that's one way to look at it. Yeah, everybody keeps saying quarterback bias. I'm like, what are you talking about? Of course, I mean, it's not even a bias. It's the guy, like... That guy is responsible for distributing the ball to every single player on the field. Reading the defense openly. Figuring out if he needs to call an audible. So... I agree. I agree, Louie. There are some... I don't get it, man. Yes! Uh, James, so James Robinson had a really good year, Nick. I think a lot of it has to do with, like... I think James Robinson is getting a boost for having such a, an unexpectedly great year. But there's no question. Justin Jefferson had a better year than James Robinson. Um, but, I mean, if you look at James Robinson, you look at Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Taylor had a great year, too. And remember, Jonathan Taylor did not have... He wasn't really playing towards the beginning of the year. So... I know some sneaky people that were uh, that were acquiring James Robinson autos. So. Exactly. Taylor, Taylor, that's what I'm saying. Taylor didn't have the beginning of the season. But when he got the end of the season, Jesus, did that guy crush it. It'll be cool to see what he can do with a full year. I think if they can develop Eason with him and Michael Pittman and Jonathan Taylor as a three-headed rookie monster, that's crazy. Bobby Wagner, green for the Seahawks. Victor Nguyen. Henry Ruggs for the Raiders. Kyle Cook. Jordan Hicks, red or green for the Cardinals. Travis Brongo. Jordan Love. For the Packers, Patrick Gallegos. Jimmy Garoppolo, green for the 49ers. Sean Maddock, Brandon Ayuk for the 49ers and Sean Maddock. Kevin Bayard, fluorescent blue. Six out of 15. Tennessee Titans, Vladimir Nickman. There you go. Eli Manning, old school for the Giants, Sammy Stray. DeAndre Swift for the Lions, Nick Stover. Yeah, the fluorescent blue is really nice. And Herbert, NFL debut, silver prism mosaic for the Chargers, Patrick Gallegos. Congrats, Tony. Van Jefferson for the Rams, Kevin Hall. Kirk Cousins Green for the Vikings, Kevin Hall. Randy Moss, Silver. Vikings, Kevin Hall. Lynn Bowden Jr. for the Raiders, Kyle Cook. Alvin Kamara for the Saints, Jason Siebert. Saquon Barkley 
for the Giants. Sam Strayer. Philip Lindsay for the Broncos. Patrick Agos. Joe Namath for the JTS Jets. Tom Judge. Gabriel Davis. Bills. Andy Den. Sam Darnold. Jets. Tom Judge. Chase Claypool. For the Steelers. Andrew Heerman. Josh Jacobs. Fluorescent Blue. For the Raiders. Kyle Cook. 6 out of 15. Nice A.J. Dillon green. Packers, Patrick Gallegos. I like him. Seems like a little workhorse, man. He's got a big engine on him. Mike Allstott, Buccaneers, Patrick Gallegos. I like him a lot. Cam Akers, another nice rookie green there. Rams, Kevin Hall. Another Herbert, NFL debut. Tony. And the Chargers. Amari Cooper Silver for the Cowboys. Nathan Engelbrecht. Justin Jefferson for the Vikings. Kevin Hall. Josh Allen for the Jaguars. Alfonso Mendoza. Michael Pittman Jr. for the Colts. Patrick Gallegos. Devin Singletary for the Bills, Andy Dinn. C.D. Lamb, Cowboys, Nathan Engelbrecht. Mahomes, Chiefs, Alec Harrelson. Adrian Peterson, Washington, Narek. K.J. Hamler for the Broncos, Patrick. Now the all-famous pink camos. After this, we got prism cellos, and then we're kind of getting into last of retail, and then into hobby boxes. Chase Young, Washington, Narek. C.D. Lamb for the Cowboys. Nathan Engelbrick. LaVisca Chenault Jr. for the Jags. Clyde Edwards Elaire for the Chiefs, Alec Harrison. Jalen Hurts for the Eagles, Jason Siebert. And nice Joe Burrow NFL debut. Tony and the Bengals. Clyde Edwards Elaire. We had the NFL debut, now we got the regular one for the Chiefs and Alec. Tom Brady MVPs, Patriots, Kevin Hall. Antonio Gibson, Washington, Narek, and no Herbie in there, but nice. Prism up next. Put in some nice red, white, and blues in here. Maybe some rookie silvers. Let's see.
Good luck, guys. Justin Jefferson Green. Very nice to start way. Minnesota Vikings, Kevin Hall. Patrick Mahomes, Fireworks. For the Chiefs, Alec Harrelson. Jalen Ragor for the Eagles, Jason Siebert. Mahomes for the Chiefs again, Alec Harrelson. James White Green for the Patriots, Kevin Hall. Jalen Ragor for the Eagles, Jason Siebert. Donovan Peoples Jones for the Browns. Christopher Chin. Sean Alexander. Seahawks. Uh, Victor Nguyen. Julian Akarwa, or Quara for the Lions. Nick Stover. OJ Howard for the Buccaneers. Patrick Gallegos. Henry Ruggs for the Raiders. Kyle Koch. Darren Fells. Green for the Texans. Nelson Lynn. Jacob Eason for the Colts. Patrick Gallegos and Willie Gay Jr. For the Chiefs. Alec Harrison. James Morgan. Rookie Green for the Jets. Tom Judge. And Thaddeus Moss for Washington. Narek. Patrick Mahomes, brilliant screen. Very nice. Chiefs, Alec Harrison. KJ Hamler for the Broncos, Patrick Gallegos. Kyler Murray, Cardinals, Travis Bruno, uh, Brunagle. Glellen Farrell for the Raiders, Kyle Cook. Michael P. Ryan for the Jets, Tom Judge. Marlon Humphrey for the Ravens, Sean Maddock. Jeff Gladney for the Vikings, uh, Kevin Hall. Josh Allen for the Bills, Andy Den. Jamichael Hasty for the 49ers, Sean Maddock. Tom Brady, Buccaneers, Patrick Gallegos, Terry McLaurin, Narek, and the Washington football team. Michael Warren for the Eagles, Jason Siebert. Lamar Jackson for the Ravens and Sean Maddock. Jonathan Taylor for the Colts. Patrick Gallegos and Zach Bond for the Saints. Jason Siebert. Red, white, and blues. AJ Epinesa for the Bills. Andy Din. Clyde Edwards Elaire for the Chiefs. Alec Harrison. Joshua Kelly for the Chargers. Patrick Gallegos. Logan Wilson for the Bengals. Patrick Gallegos. Jeremy Chin for the Panthers. Nelson Lynn and Justin Herbert. There you go, Tony. Patrick Gallegos and the Chargers. Not too bad. It's pretty sharp, too.
There you go, Tony. Congrats, man. Looks pretty clean. Chase Young for Washington and Narek. Noah Igbenagany for the Dolphins, Andy Din. Christian Fulton for the Titans, Vladimir Nickman. Devin Asiasi for the Patriots, Kevin Hall. Kenneth Murray for the Chargers, Tony. And CJ Henderson for the Jaguars, Alfonso Mendoza. Okay, we've got one more retail before we do that mega box from 2017. Uh, and it's this mega box of 2020. Uh, I don't know if they'd be just as good, but I mean, they'd be good. I mean, you got to liken it to this. Think about if, uh, do you think Jared Goff would have had the numbers that he had the, the previous two years to this year without the roster that he had, the weapons that he had at his, you know, disposal? Do you think his numbers were because of him or because of the other, like, you know? Patrick Gallegos, Jalen Hurts for the Eagles, Jason Siebert, Henry Ruggs for the Raiders, Kyle Cook, Willie Gay Jr. for the Chiefs, Alec Harrison, Jalen Ragor for the Eagles, uh, Jason Siebert, Sean Lee for the Cowboys, Nathan Engelbert and Thaddeus Moss. Washington Narek. Barry Sanders, Green Pulsar for the Lions. I don't think these are numbered, right? No. Uh, Detroit Lions, Nick Stover. Jeff Gladney for the Vikings. Kevin Hull. Julian Aquara for the Lions, Nick Stover. Donovan Peoples Jones for the Browns. Christopher Chin. got points 400 points that's well, going to be randomized to one person at the end of the break LaMichael P. Ryan for the Jets Tom Judge so I think that'll probably replace the auto and Daniel Jones for the Giants and Sam Strayer Quez Watkins for the Eagles Jason Siebert No, I, I don't think I hated Goff. I obviously do not like the Rams. And I thought it was absolutely hilarious that Rams fans tried to rationalize the contract that they gave to him multiple times. Every time I brought it up to him, they're like, yeah, but by the time his contract's over, he'll actually be lower than what the top-end quarterbacks are. And I'm like, that doesn't matter. He's not a top-end quarterback, and he should never have been in that consideration in the first place. Like, the fact that they... Gave him a four-year extension for $134 million. When they openly had... This last year would have been the fifth-year option on his uh, on his rookie contract. They could have had him play this year without having a new contract. They could have cut him. They could have tried to trade him if somebody wanted to. Like You know what I mean? They could. I mean, they wouldn't even have to cut him. They would just be a free agent. But instead... To get rid of him, I had to use a first round pick and a third round pick 
Just the stupidest thing. But they did the same thing with Todd Gurley. They extended him too early and then obviously played another year and it just wasn't what it was supposed to be. And there's two stupid contracts that they did. So. And somehow with all that idiocy, they still fall backwards into, you know, the playoffs. And, and for some reason, like... Their house of cards stays stays up for one more year type thing. You know what I mean? It's just it's it's the dumbest thing. I, I listen, Travis. I I have no problem with the Rams fans. I was a Rams fan before they left California. The problem I have is Rams fans trying to claim that they're the real LA team. They're the real California team. Really? Because your most recent history says otherwise. You can probably find more of that in Missouri. So, that's the only thing. I think it's hilarious. And then they try to downplay the, 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 uh, uh, the value of a first round pick. Oh, first round picks are overvalued and blah, 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 and like this and that, whatever else. Okay, well, there you go. Then Travis understands. Yeah, I went to the very first game in St. Louis. I got to watch Orlando Pace, number one pick from Ohio State, the left tackle, Hall of Famer. I got to watch that, like, uh, that preseason game. That was awesome. And then I decided never to root for them again. So. TJ Watt. For the Steelers, Andrew Hearman, Colin Johnson, Jaguars, Alfonso Mendoza. Jesus, for the Chargers, Justin Herbert, Patrick Gallegos, Tony. Congratulations, dude. You are having yourself a hell of a break. Zach Moss, Buffalo Bills, Andy Den. Yeah, I was at that preseason game. Khalil Mack, purple. 17 out of 35. For the Bears, Brandon Stern. CeeDee Lamb. For the Cowboys, Nathan Engelbrecht. Patrick Mahomes for the Chiefs, Alec Harrison. Christian McCaffrey. For the Panthers, Nelson Lynn. Anthony Gordon for the Seahawks, Victor Nguyen. Patrick Mahomes, no huddle. Ooh, this is a pretty good box. Chiefs, Alec Harrison, and Tua, negative. For the Dolphins, Andy Din. Xavier McKinney for the Giants. Sam Strayer. I haven't, Sam. I haven't been yet. I'm dying to be able to use my season tickets this next year. So, we'll see. And we have a ridiculously good schedule of players. Pretty good, huh, Andrew? Let's see what else we got. Bobby Wagner, blue. One of 70. 79. Uh, that's for the Seahawks. Going to Victor Nguyen. And how about a Joe Burrow as well? For the Bengals and Tony. Patrick Gallegos. Aaron Donald for the aforementioned Rams, Kevin Hall. Derek Brown for the Panthers, Nelson Lynn. Jarvis Landry for the Browns. Christopher Chin, Fred Warner, 49ers, Sean Maddock. That guy is incredible, by the way. So underrated. Isaiah Simmons, Cardinals, Travis Bernagle. Dante, uh, Deontay Johnson, Red. 36 out of 50. For the Steelers, Andrew Heerman. Last spot mojo, Devin Duvernay. For the Ravens, Sean Maddock.
AJ Brown for the Titans, Vladimir Nickman. Josh Uche for the Patriots. Kevin Hall. Josh Allen. Buffalo Bills. Andy Dinn. Kenny Galladay for the Lions. Nick Stover. Chase Claypool for the Steelers. Andrew Heerman. Darius Slayton. Pink. Two out of 15. For the Giants, Sam Strayer. LaVisca Chenault Jr. for the Jaguars. Alfonso Mendoza. Another Patrick Mahomes. For the Chiefs, Alec Harrison. Bengals, T. Higgins. Patrick Gallegos. Our auto, Ross Blacklock. For the Houston Texans, no huddle auto. That's going to Nelson Lynn. And Yeter Gross Matos for the Carolina Panthers. Nelson Lynn. Jonathan Taylor. Nice one. Rookie Red, 45 out of 50. For the Colts, Patrick Gallegos. Eno Benjamin. For the Cardinals, Travis Bernagle. J.K. Dobbins. For the Ravens, Sean Maddock. Patrick Queen for the Ravens and Sean Maddock. Kyler Murray, Cardinals, Travis Bernagle. Marshawn Lattimore. For the Saints, Sam St or not Sam Stryer, Jason Siebert. Neville Gallimore for the Cowboys. Nathan Engelbrecht. Joe Theismann. Blue, 16 out of 79 for Washington, Narek Armaskin and Isaiah Coulter. For the Texans and Nelson Lynn. When do the Rams have a first rounder? At this point? What is it? Like probably 2000, 2026? I feel like the next, what, four or five are already given away? Uh, next up is Contenders. Nick saying 2024. So they won't have had a first pick since 2006, uh, first round pick since 2016, I think, right? When they picked Jared Goff. Good picking, by the way. So Travis, you have to, you must hate uh, Kronky as well, right? As a Rams fan from St. Louis or Missouri. I'm, I'm going to assume yes. So. Tell me if you think this is a plausible, I'm not saying likely, but plausible thing that could happen. Stan Kroenke really likes money. He made a lot of money in, uh, in real estate, right? I foresee the Rams not winning a Super Bowl this year. And like I said, they're pretty much built on a house of cards at this point. Um, their, their payroll compared to the contracts that they have, free agency that's going to be coming up, all the stuff. like They're so over-the-top leveraged on certain positions and certain players that I could openly see Kroenke, before it all falls apart, Selling the team. Now, here's the catch. His his one of his companies owns the stadium. SoFi Stadium. It owns it separately from the Rams. 
And the Rams are on the same lease agreement that the Chargers are on. So when Rams fans say, like, oh, you're renting a place, well, so are you guys. Um, that way he still gets all the money from, from the contracts. Uh, here's another round numbers, just like the one previously. Clavon Chase on Patrick Queen. Uh, we'll do this as a left-right randomizer as well. So it'll be the same randomizer. If there's any numbered versions, we'll do those separately, but left, right, left, right, so it'll all be one randomizer. DJ Dallas, rookie ticket variation auto for the Seattle Seahawks, Victor Nguyen. Should have five autos in here. Patrick Mahomes, Kansas City Chiefs, Alec Harrison. Jacob Eason for the Colts, Patrick Gallegos. I agree. I've been saying that for a couple years now, unfortunately, and they keep. Uh, CJ Henderson, Jacksonville Jaguars, Alfonso Mendoza. I mean, it's, it's what I live around. You know what I mean? Like, you got to think during the time that I've been a Ram I've been a Chargers fan for a long time. And when the Chargers moved up to L.A., happens to be the same time the Rams moved up to L.A., right? So, like, there was a lot of people who were like, well, who should I root for? And I'm like, root for whoever you want. But understand that the Rams can try to say that they're the L.A. team or the California team, but they're the ones that actively moved to St. Louis. Joe Burrow, Justin Jefferson, that'll be a round number randomizer at the end. I was like, they chose to go to St. Louis. It's like Chargers, they've been in Southern California their entire existence. Oh, which one of them is more Southern California team representative? CeeDee Lamb. Dallas Cowboys. Nathan Engelbrick. I just like having, you know informative conversations with stuff like that got a printing plate one of one it's a minnesota viking i don't know which one adam thielen vikings kevin hall there you go kevin patrick mahomes mvb contenders chiefs alec harrison clyde edwards elaire for the chiefs alec harrison tom brady buccaneers patrick gallegos Xavier Jones, rookie ticket auto for the Rams, Kevin Hall. Joe Burrow and Tua, round number randomizer. So we've gotten one, two, three, the Redemption's four autos. We should have one more over here. Justin Jefferson for the Vikings, Kevin Hall. And Sean Bradley, playoff ticket auto to 99 for the Philadelphia Eagles, Jason Siebert. Van Jefferson for the Rams, Kevin Hull. Cool. So let's see who the redemption is. This should be an on-card auto. Let's see. Could it be Mr. Joe Burrow? Rookie ticket RPS. Card 134. I don't think that's a Burrow number. J-O-S-H. Joshua Kelly? Is Joshua Kelly an on-card auto? From the Chargers? Interesting. 
That's the Chargers. Patrick Gallegos, tell me. I do, Sam. Uh, my girlfriend bought me one for Christmas, actually. L-A-C. Well, Joshua Kelly. I'm surprised he's a uh, on-card auto, actually. I like him. Right? The other ones were sticker, 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 sticker. Okay. Interesting. Uh, now we're into Elite Team All. Exclusive status die cut red parallels. Number two, five or less. What else is in this? Star status, Josh Jacobs. 118 out of 349 for the Raiders, Kyle Cook. Double check that Lee Stanley. I don't think that was numbered, but let's see. Looks like we got a randomizer here. Elite Company. Uh, so Derek Brown's a Panther. Newton's a Panther. D Ford is a 49er. And Bo Jackson's a Raider. So I'll have to do a randomizer on that separately at the end. Darius Leonard to 49. For the Indianapolis Colts, Patrick Gallegos. Donovan Peoples-Jones, 214 out of 349. For the Cleveland Browns, Christopher Chin. And, oh, I thought it was Joe Burrow. Akeem Davis Gauthier, 171 out of 349. For the Cincinnati Bengals, Patrick Gallegos. Could be three autos in a row. Rookie elitist, C.D. Lamb. Dallas Cowboys, Nathan Engelbrecht. C.J. Henderson, 2 dollars for the Jaguars. Alfonso Mendoza, Ben Roethlisberger, 2 dollars For the Steelers, Andrew Heerman. There you go. Okay, let's do XR and then we'll do black and then uh, certified first off line as well.
been pretty good, huh, Sam? I mean, we're just, like, we just kind of started getting into the hobby stuff, too. Really? So. So far, it's been pretty successful. I can't wait to see what's going to happen with the real Super Bowl mixer. Chase Young, Washington, Narek. Colin Johnson to 75 for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Alfonso Mendoza. Juju Smith-Schuster to 99 for the Steelers. Andrew Heerman. And to 99, Noah Fant for the Broncos. Patrick Gallegos. LaMichael Pirine, jersey and auto to 199 for the Jets. Tom Judge. Max Crosby to 199 for the Raiders. Kyle Cock or Cook. And out of five? Five out of five. J.K. Dobbins. Baltimore Ravens, Sean Maddock. Very nice. Nick Bosa to 75 for the 49ers. Sean Maddock. Tua. Triple Relic to 75 for the Dolphins. Andy Din and Jalen Hurts, rookie auto, 9 out of 99. Philadelphia Eagles, Jason Siebert. There you go, Jason. Congrats. go black and then we'll go certified it's first off line certified it was a very nice service so Travis what made you stay uh, a, Fort a Rams fan now that they left why didn't you go uh, why didn't you go Chiefs Respect that. Christian Fulton out of 75 for the Tennessee Titans, Vladimir Nickman, and DeAndre Hopkins for the Cardinals. J.K. Dobbins, two color patch, 44 out of 50. For the Baltimore Ravens, Sean Maddock. And back to back Dobbins. Pa uh, Jersey and auto, 42 out of 50. Ravens, Sean Maddock. I mean, I could you can say that. I was a fan of them, Travis. But then I realized that the team no longer wanted me as a fan because they moved to St. Louis. You know what I mean? So at that point it was easy for me to say, no, nah, I don't have to always be a fan. Josiah DeGuara, ninety four out of one ninety nine. For the Green Bay Packers, Patrick Gallegos. Cool. Certified first off the line. Two autographs, two memorabilia cards. Let's see some of these big names. Offensive line. All offensive line. 
And if we can't get a good offensive lineman where we're at, Sam, trade back. John Hightower, 4 out of 10 for the Eagles. Jason Siebert. Jarrett Stidham, certified potential auto, 15 out of 99 for the New England Patriots. That's going to Kevin Hall. I understand that. I still have family out there, so I understand. Kyle Rudolph, 46 out of 50. For the Minnesota Vikings, Kevin Hall. Michael Pittman Jr. Two color patch and auto, 8 out of 15. That's going to the Indianapolis Colts, Patrick Gallegos. Yeah. And Jalen Regor, 9 out of 50. I like the pattern on that. That's super good looking. Philadelphia Eagles, Jason Siebert. Let's do helmet. Actually, no, let's do the mega box. See if we can get him a homes, and then we'll do the helmet. And then our randomizers. They're going to get Jordan Hicks back this year. He opted out last year. That guy can throw really hard. So. After this, we'll play a little game of Who Am I with the mini helmet. See if you can gain some bragging rights. Joe's favorite game. Okay, now we're going back to 2017. Taewon Taylor. For the Titans, Vladimir Nickman. Uh, Chad Kelly for the Broncos. That goes to Patrick Gallegos. Dee Westbrook for the Jaguars. Alfonso Mendoza. Nice. Dalvin Cook. Minnesota Vikings. Kevin Hull. Marlon Humphrey for the Ravens. Sean Maddock. Chad Williams for the Cardinals. Travis Bernagle. Curtis Samuel, Carolina Panthers, Nelson Lynn, Jake Butt, for the Broncos, Patrick Gallegos, Matthew Days, for the Browns, Christopher Chin, and Mitchell Trubisky, for the Bears, Brandon Stern. David Njoku. I forgot he's in this too. Browns, Christopher Chin. Adoree Jackson, Titans, Vladimir Nickman. Walter Payton, Sweetness. For the Bears, Brandon Sturm. Kevin King, Packers, Patrick Gallegos. Curtis Samuel again for the Panthers. Nelson Lynn. Zay Jones. Buffalo Bills, Andy Dinn. Russell Wilson. 
for the Seahawks, Victor Nguyen. Jonu Smith, Titans, Vladimir Nickman. And Deshaun Kaiser, the guy who openly thought he was the best quarterback in this entire draft. Uh, for the Cleveland Browns, Christopher Chin. He had a his interview after the thing when he was drafted. All these teams are going to regret this. I'm going to be the best player, the best quarterback in this entire draft. Blah, 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 blah. Freaking hilarious. Just love that. I mean, you got to love the confidence, but... And I get that a lot of people, like, I'm guessing you have to be pretty confident, and you know? But he was so cocky. Like, he talked so much crap on multiple other players. Well, Josh Rosen also made mention of the fact that he didn't even need to play football. Like, he was smart enough to go do whatever he wanted to and be successful, actually, like, in business on his own, you know what I mean? Which is... Probably true. But then there's a guy like R. Joshua Dobbs who was legitimately like a rocket scientist. Why am I having a hard time with this tonight? Um, ah, there we go. I am a seven-time Pro Bowl selection. Running back, seven-time Pro Bowl selection, seven-time All-Pro selection, two-time NFL champion, 1950s All-Decade team, NFL 100th anniversary All-Time team, NFL record 18 straight games with a touchdown. I'm in this team's Ring of Honor. My number was retired by that team. I was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1975. Hmm. Let's see. Nick's right. Nick is right already. Uh, I uh, played for the Baltimore Colts my entire career for 12 years. Yeah, two, five-time first-team All-Pro, two-time second-team All-Pro. NEA NFL Most Valuable Player in 1964, uh, NFL Comeback Player 1964, NFL Rookie of the Year 1956, NFL Rushing Touchdowns Leader 1964. My number 24 is retired by the Colts. I'm in the Ravens Ring of Honor. Um, yeah, 5,174 career rushing yards, 4.8 yards per carry. 63 rushing touchdowns, 364 receptions, 6,039 receiving yards, and 48 receiving touchdowns. Combined, 111 combined touchdowns. Not too bad. Like I said, career re uh, record, 18 games in a row with a touchdown. Lenny Moore, Hall of Famer, 1975 with the inscription. For the Indianapolis Colts and Patrick Gallegos. There you go. So we'll leave that out for a second. Okay, we have a couple randomizers to do. So for these contenders round numbers, um, both from 2019 and 2020, we're gonna do left right randomizers one time. If it's the left, all the teams on the left, whether it's the 2020 left or the 2019 left, we'll get those uh, and we have this randomizer by itself, which is 
Panthers times two, 49ers, and the Raiders. It's a Auburn alumni card. Uh, we have a points randomizer, which is going to go to everybody. 400 points. One person will take those away. That was the only points we had in the break. So let's do those randomizers right now. Left, right. Um, what's the other one? Let's see. Carolina. Carolina. San Francisco. And Las Vegas. And then, let's come over here. Copy of the team list over here. Boom. So it's going to be the same dice roll for all three of them. Left, right randomizer for the round number tickets. Uh, the Carolina, Carolina, San Francisco, Vegas randomizer for that Auburn alumni card. And the points, which is going to one person in the break based off their team. So there you go. Dice roll. One of the two, three times. Good luck. First one is for the Auburn alumni card. One, two, and three. It's going to Carolina. So that will go to the Carolina Panthers, Nelson Lynn. There you go. Uh, second one, three times on the randomizer is for the left, right randomizers. One, two, and third and final time. Stays with the left. So these will all be going to the teams on the left. So Bengals. Bengals, Jaguars, Jaguars, Bears, Steelers, and Titans. There we go. So I'll put those in a team bag. So those will all be sorted out separately and given to the left team. And then for the points. Three times on the randomizer. One, two, and third and final time. Points go to the Buffalo Bills, Andy Din. So Andy, those 400 points are gonna be going to you with everything else you got in the break. Quick little recap. This is like lower numbered cards, some highlights and uh, autos, starting from like the product we started with or nice Justin Herbert, red, white, and blue. Justin Herbert, no huddle. Tua, negative, no huddle. Ross Blacklock, auto for the Texans. Adam Thielen, one of one printing plate from Contenders. Joshua Kelly, I believe this is an on-card auto for the Chargers. Xavier Jones for the Rams, Sean Bradley for the Eagles, C.J. Henderson for the Jaguars, D.J. Dallas for the Seahawks, uh, Akeem davis Gauthier for the Bengals, Donovan Peoples-Jones for the Browns, J.K. Dobbins, 5 out of 5 for the Bengals, Michael P. Ryan to 199 for the Jets, Jalen Hurts out of 99, J.K. Dobbins, 42 out of 50. Josh Saia to 199 for the Packers. Uh, John Hightower, 4 out of 10. Jared Stidham to 99 for the Patriots. And Michael Pittman Jr., 8 out of 15 for the Colts. Colts also got this 
Lenny Moore autographed mini helmet as well. So there you go, guys. Lots of nice rookies going out to everybody as well. Uh, thank you guys very much. That was Jaspi's 14 box Super Bowl warm up football mixer. Jaspi'sCaseBreaks.com. I'm Sean. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time. There you go.